and it's not my fault <laughs> honestly i was born like that each time i try to calm down it gets worse like it seems like i'll start stammering and it doesn't make sense to me hey loves and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is precious Choma. i do life related talks lifestyle vlogs chit chat documentaries and story time yeah I know this is the channel you've been, you know, <laughs> longing to see. <laughs> I've got you covered. I am here. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> so, guys, if this niche is what you've been searching for, you're on the right channel, honestly. And please do well by clicking the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification to be notified for more interesting videos. And to my time subscribers and subscribers, I really appreciate you all. Yeah. So, guys, we're wasting much of our time. Let's dive into this video already. The number one thing I wish I could change about me is starting up a YouTube channel at a very tender age. You can imagine I did that. Oh my God. Since then, till now, uh uh now, there won't be competition. Why are you even trying to stress yourself? Like, you can't, you can't deal. Oh my God. I only wish though. But, by God's grace, I'm doing well. Yeah, and to God be the glory. <laughs> the second thing is, how do I say this right now? <laughs> okay. Being a virgin until marriage. Like, I really wish. Jokes apart, I really wish. <laughs> the third thing I wish I could change is not having my ears pierced. To be honest, like, I don't like the fact I wear earrings. It makes me uncomfortable, no matter the size. Yes. And some people will be like, so I have to wear big earrings so your face will come out since you're on low cut. I don't understand. I thought I should be doing me and not you. How? My mom, I can't remember how many years ago when this happened. She was like, my friend, go and wear earrings. You're a woman. Not even like you're wearing wig, nothing. You're not even wearing makeup. I don't understand. Am I going out with a man? She said, mommy, why did, you pierce, why did you pierce my ears? Sorry. Because I don't like it. I feel so comfortable like this. She'll be like, I'm not ready to go out. Until that thing is important to me, I'll go and do the need for. When I bought big earrings, I bought different kind of earrings just because of them. And I don't feel comfortable wearing them because I always touch my my face. Like, my hand is always of my face. And I feel comfortable doing it like this. Imagine I touch my face, I feel my skin. I'm not feeling something that is... I, I don't feel like something is choking me or trying to make me uncomfortable. When I wear earrings, when I touch my face, I feel uncomfortable. I don't do anything. I don't do anything. I don't do my face like this. Because if I try it, I might injure myself, forgetting that I'm wearing something. Do you understand? So I feel comfortable this way, to be honest. Like, oh my God. Ah, I'm not wearing lip gloss. Okay. I look odd because I'm used to wearing lip gloss. Yeah, that's the only thing you'll see on my face, to be honest. Like, <sighs> I'm not weird, right? Yeah. Number four, not having emotions. I wish I was strong hearted. Like, I wish I was. I wish I had a heart of stone. I know you'll be wondering why I'm saying this, man. I've been so dealt with. Oh. It's not what I'll talk about. Like, I am tired. God, my own emotion is a top notch. Like, I mean, it's over me, to be honest. But I pray that I'll be fine because, man, it's not easy for me. Like, how do you guys do it? Those, those of you that don't have feelings, how do you do it? Like, I want to learn, to be honest. I really want to. Number five, making the right decision at any given time. Oh, my God. It's so not easy for me mm -mm. i don't know how some of you do that like you're a genius honestly i give you this thumbs up it's not easy how do you do that ah most times i try you and most times too i don't i'll end up regretting what i did or what i said that's too bad number six placing myself after god like after god it should be me but no after god people i always carry people on my head and at the end they will break my heart this is not about relationship. It's just about people's lifestyle. And they see it as normal. They see it like nothing is happening. This is how it's meant to be. How? When you're hurting someone seriously. I don't understand. Ah, It's well. Number seven, not being an overthinker. Please, a minute silence for me. Like, I overthink. Honestly. And when I do, a lot of things start coming to my head like anger mood swing jesus christ i'm not meant to overreact to this trauma this is just this is just there why are you overthinking it honestly my friends will always complain trauma you, you 
I don't want to use the F word. Like, I overthink too much. Why? They'll be like, they do, but mine is extreme. To be honest, if you're in these shoes, please, can you come to the comment section and tell me what you do when you feel this way? Because I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to deal with it. Like, it's dealing with me when I'm meant to be dealing with it. Number eight, not opening my whole life to people. To be honest, like, sometimes I wonder, eh? Do we actually know what friendship means? Do we even know what family means? Do we know these things? I don't think so. Because I don't see the reason why I would open up to you and you use these things against me in the future. Or maybe now. Like how? I thought I meant to confide in you for me to open up to you. Of course. Because I know I can't keep it to myself. We always say, eh, I'm, I'm secretive. I'm this one. If you are secretive, hmm, there is no, you can't, there is no one person you will tell something to. Keep it to yourself. So you're not secretive. It's because you cannot keep that secret. That's why you want to say it out. If not, it will choke you. And when you now decide to, to, to spill, it will become a problem. Like how? Oh, Jesus Christ. Number nine, to be a slow talker and not a fast one. Of course, if you've been following my videos, like you know that I talk very fast. And it's not my fault. <laughs> Honestly, I was born like that. Each time I try to calm down, it gets worse. Like it seems like I'll start stammering and it doesn't make sense to me. Most of the times when I'm filming, I know how many times I delete, I start all over again because the previous one I made was so fast, I couldn't control myself. So I have to repeat it again to get it right. I'm not even like right, right. If you notice, I've been talking like this, like fast. It's not my fault, honestly. This is one, this is one of the most important things I wish I could change about me. Talking very slow. Do you know, you won't believe that most people, when they hear me talk, they'll be like, they wish they could talk so fast like I am doing. Hmm. When I'm wishing I could talk like you. You see, life no balance, honestly. Like, it doesn't. Because of this, I don't pray out. I pray only in my mind, to be honest. Because whenever I start to pray, it seems like I was, I'm rapping. The last time during our family prayer, that was last month. Hmm. It wasn't funny. While I was, while, while I was asked to pray, I started calmly. Then in the middle, I was so fast. Nobody, nobody could even hear what I was saying. I paused. I was trying to calm down. They started laughing. Then my dad ended the prayer. After the prayer, they were like, so what was going on? What happened? Were you singing? Are you rapping? Not even singing. I said, it's not my fault, but you guys know that I talk very fast. So that one was extreme. To be honest, I felt embarrassed. I won't lie. I felt so embarrassed, but what can I do? But I can sing out. I can praise God. Like, very well but in my mind i'll start praying because once i'm done singing and praying sometimes eh, when i'm really high in the spirit i won't be able to pray out because i'll start stammering yes so i only pray in my mind and i feel very bad i feel like <sighs> that mind prayer doesn't really go well with me to be honest i i prefer when i pray out like when i kabash i don't know speaking tongue though but this is one of the spiritual obliterments i ask god to you know bless me with and i i pray he will do that for me so that is it, my dear. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> I have to take it as it is. It's nature. And you can't deny it. Number 10, being slim. I mean, sweet slim. Without having to be on a diet or going to the gym. Ah, oh, God, I hate diet and I hate going to the gym. Like, it's stressful, to be honest. <laughs> Guess what? I don't used to be like this. So I used to be slim and very fine. After my service year, not like I was slim, slim, but when I was growing, I was slim. Then uh, university days, I, was, I wasn't I was that slim, but to compare to now, man, I was slim. Yeah, that's on period. Then after my service year, I developed ulcer. Mm, it wasn't funny. Then I was placed on this supplement. Like this supplement, this supplement really added me. Like I added so much weight. I was wondering what is in this supplement. I didn't want to ask because I wanted to be fine. Do you understand? So I was taking it every day. Imagine morning and night. Ah, I'm not fat though. Thank God I have this muscular body. Like I have my mom's gene in the sense that no matter what, I won't be fat. Highest, I'll just add up a little, but that body is going to be there. Like it's strong. Do you understand? Strong body, but very soft. Please don't misunderstand me. <laughs> yeah. Imagine I had my granny's, my paternal granny's body. Like her gene, so, so strong. She was fat. Not like she's fat, fat, but she was fat. She had that body, honestly. I couldn't even imagine. So my sister got that from her. So imagine if I was like that. By now, with the way I eat and all those things, man, I would think, I'll be thinking of going to surgery. 
to remove fat because dieting whatever will not even work on me i swear but now i'm on diet though i'm trying to you know do this fruit dieting food dieting it's not easy imagine not eating what you don't want to eat just because you want to come down and someone will be like you're not fat i say don't worry it's my body don't tell me what to do allow me to do what i want to do with my body thank you <laughs> and guess what Watermelon is very good. Like every morning and evening, I go to the toilet and I feel so much relieved. Like something left me. Honestly, try it. Yeah, it's been going well for me. <sighs> I want to be slim again. <laughs> Number 11, not accepting people so easily into my life. The same part when I said I wish I wasn't emotional, that was strong hearted, to be honest. I've really been dealt with. Like, I don't know. I don't really know what to say. Should I say I'm not always lucky with people or what? Or maybe I always accept the wrong people. I, I accept the right people. They are the same thing. Honestly, like they act the same. You'll be wondering, what is going on? Why am I the different person here? Why do I see life differently? And why do they see life differently? Like, I know we must not agree to everything. We have our opinions to things, but there are some things that we, we should agree on. We know that this is the right thing to do. And you know this is the wrong thing to do. Like, I've really been dealt with seriously. That's this is not what I'll be talking about right now, though. I don't want to switch. I just wish for what I wish for, and that's on period. And that brings us to the end of this video, loves. I hope you find it interesting. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and see you all in my next video. Bye.